Hey, hi, do you want to learn to create this look? <laughs> Minus the mustache. Watching the next few minutes are crucial. Hello everyone, so skincare is done. I kind of switched up my skincare a bit. I've used these three products, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base and this as my moisturizer, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I wanted something a little more hydrating. And the La Mer Lip Balm. This lip balm, you know, is very matte. Like this is the first matte lip balm I've ever tried and I think it does a great job. Now the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask leaves the skin a little tacky because it's quite hydrating. I, th I think it's great to plump out your lines and you know, any just like dump up your skin because it's it has so many skin caring ingredients. Corrector is first step for me always and I am using this Vasanti liquid VO2. With this corrector I like to blend as I go because sometimes I feel it if it sets it does it looks patchy. I kind of enjoy the liquidy texture of this corrector but sometimes I feel it also gathers into your fine line. I like to even put it inside my inner corner of the eye because I think that is where I have the maximum darkness. And then of course around the mouth. My favorite please. Today I'm thinking of switching foundations a bit and I'm just going to use my Giorgio Armani in the shade 7.5. I am just gonna dot this. You can see it's quite peachy for my skin, this one. Now I'm just pounding my, I'm literally pounding my beauty blender to blend this out. Before I move into concealer, I'm just going to take this Anastasia stick foundation in kind of like a, you know, like a tan shade. This is in the shade Cool Golden and I am just using this as a bronzer. I'm just going to take this on the outer perimeter of my face too. And I like to bring this like, can you see where this highest point is? I like to bring the, the bronzer like somewhere here. What I'm trying to do here is first I'm going to do all my cream products and then then I'm going to go in my, into my concealer because I want minimum creasing. If I put it right now, everything's just going to crease. So I'm kind of going to leave that at last. I feel that's good enough for now. And I'm just going to take this um, Charlotte Tilbury, the contour wand, and I am just going over places where I like to contour a little bit more, especially like under this. And I'm just using that same brush, just blending it. To have the most seamless blend, you almost have to, after every step, go in with the beauty blender because it just, just makes everything so flawless. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer. This is in the shade Natural Beige. And i using a concealer brush. I'm just working this in to bring a little bit of contrast and then just blend it out. If I like, and when I smile, I like to take it like under here and up here to the middle of the ear. Like this, mm, kind of join it in with the beauty blender because you don't want any harsh lines. Some of it here, look at the placement here if you see what i'm doing here i want to bring this up and cut through whatever's left on the back of my hand i'm just going to pick that up and put it around my chin area i'm going to swipe some of this in warm beige on my hand now this is the color which sort of resonates with me the most and what I'm going to do is just pick this up on a dense but soft brush. This is the KTJ Q's number 8 and I'm just placing this and I'm only 
capping it because if you go really hard all that hard work that you did with your corrector is gonna go to weight if i want a little more brightness i might add it to just this area here because if i go too too high up it might end up looking really gray again so all this hard work that we did would be of no use so to brighten i'm just using two dots here and using my brush i am just going to blend there you want to work in really thin layers otherwise it's just gonna end up looking cakey and <laughs> honestly cakey makeup is not good now as soon as it's blended before everything starts creasing you have to set it with powder and before i go go into any places that might have smudged or you know it's collected in the lines do this take most of the powder on the puff dab whatever is not needed i mean you just want like the, the least powder and i'm just look up and just place this Now this is better done with a powder puff, I feel, but I don't have a powder puff right now. I think this is like the most important step, uh, you know, to do it quickly. And I also like to go around my mouth. I am next moving straight into blush. This is Cheeky from Merit. I love this line. I picked up a few things in the sale from this brand. I'm stippling but I'm also watching as I go because I do not want too much product. Let's go on my nose a bit. Also under my chin. Use some on your ears if you want to. Always you can go in with extra blush because blush is like the first thing that starts sort of coming off your face. So go in with a little extra blush, it only makes you look a little more youthful. Now to kind of go with this, it's kind of an older shirt from Zara, but I like it so much. I love the color. So first I'm going to take a shade like this, which is, you know, it has this nice green shift. And I am going to apply this right on the center of my, I want it really pigmented. So, you know, apply a good amount. I'm just barely touching that shade and I'm just going to scoop this. Just, you know, sort of in the crease. I would definitely have to go in with a little more, but for now, you know, you want to build it up slowly because if you go all in in one go, there's no going back. But if you build in layers and if you go slowly, you can sort of customize it to how you want. Now take any tan shade. Before I go on, this look was also on Katie Jane Hughes. She does these KGH Academy looks and I thought, you know, I've never tried a look like this before. So I was like, this is a good start for me to, you know, start experimenting with a little bit more color and even texture because I think I struggle with <laughs> mixing textures. So this is a good way. I'm taking this brush and I'm just going to color this right here. And now to introduce this color into the lid here. I'm just going to go in tiny tapping motions and then using a little fluffier brush, stretching this out. Like for my eye shape, I like to bring it a little outside here. And I like to pull out this color a little more, blending this underneath the eye. And I'm also going to go here. And this adds a very interesting edge to the whole look. And with a brush, I'm just going to sort of swipe that. Kind of blend it out. And to add a little bit of sparkle, just to make things a little more interesting, I'm going to take that Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay. I hope this is still available. I don't know. And I'm going to pick up this shade here because it's so beautiful. Right, so I'm going to take this shade Lithium from that from that palette. Applying this. Oh, I'm just going with that same concealer brush that I had before and I'm just cleaning up these edges if they look a little too harsh because that really helps to soften out the look. You know I'm just taking a little bit here too just to soften this out because I think it looks a little, a little too harsh. Oh, 
Okay, next I'm gonna go in with brows and I'm just gonna do brows and I'm gonna come back because it takes a bit of time. All right, eyebrows are done. I ran into some problems, but I sorted that out. And this is the Anastasia Brow Gel. So good for keeping the brows in place. I'm just taking the Charlotte Tilbury in medium and I'm just going to remove the shine from wherever I don't want it. Okay, moving on to two lashes. I'm using the lash curler and I'm just going to use some mascara. Now, I always, always like to go in with a little bit of, you know, luminosity in the inner corner because I think nothing brightens my eye more than that. So I'm using the Dior Skin Luminizer and I'm just going into this area here because it just, it just opens up the eye like, like nothing else. For lips, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of MAC Hover. I'm going to use this Patrick, uh, Patrick Ta. She's bold. But just on the upper and the lower lip, just for some contrast. And on my lips, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Very Victoria, which is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And get this nice nude shade. I'm just going to add some of this highlighter here on my nose and I'm just bringing this down in a straight line. I'm going to take a little bit of that same Dior Luminizer on the high points of my face. Are you ready? 